In 1992, she made history by becoming the first female of color to be crowned Miss South Africa. And today, she's a successful entrepreneur and businesswoman. Mzanzi, please give it up for a true South African icon, Miss Amy Kleinhans Kurd. I remember vividly mm -hmm. the day you were crowned Miss South Africa. That was, that was a huge, huge momentous occasion for all girls of color. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and you, you give away your age when you remember that. But eh? I, age is a privilege of time. I love aging. It's beautiful to age. Yes. I mean, Amy, exactly. do you do you actually think about how significant that was for little girls of colour to locate themselves in you? You know, that's an interesting question, Z, because I had no idea the enormity and the gravitas of the impact. Yeah. I just did my best, showed up, won the crowd over and the judges, because I was definitely not the prettiest or the most intelligent. I just was in the right place at the right time. But when I landed <laughs> at the Cape Town airport <laughs> for the first time after I was crowned, it was like, what's going on here? <laughs> um, is there a minister arriving or an yeah. international guest or what's going on here? And they go, no, 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 the crowd is here because of you. Wow. And I think that day it really sunk in that not only was I crowned and symbolically, politically it was significant, yes. but an entire nation of people that were had no voice yeah. was also crowned, which is yeah. amazing. It's Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. And I want to segue into, you know, we've just celebrated Freedom Day mm -hmm. and I know that you had a really special relationship with Madiba. Mm -hmm. When you think about freedom, uh, and you think about your relationship with him, what does that conjure up for you? Like, what are some of the memories that come up for you at that time? Oh, so many different ones, but the most important for me is the sense of joy that he created for us. You know, we had a dispensation of sadness and violence and mm. huge international judgment from the world. And he just brought us so much joy, he embodied that joy. And I think that's got a lot to also do with us as human beings, whether we talk about the workspace or just social, whatever. If you think about freedom, it must be, you, you, when you say you're free, you must be full of joy. Mm. And so there's m many little moments dotted in my life with my relationship with Tata that I just, he used to make me laugh <laughs> or give me another angle to life or yeah. I could get quite serious and deep, you know. <laughs> and he'd keep it light and just go, don't take it so seriously, it's okay, yeah. Ames. You know, today's newspaper front page is tomorrow's um, um, toilet paper in some yeah. long drop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some, don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah. You know, and so don't give it audience. Beautiful, and, yeah. beautiful. Gorgeous. Now, one of the things I love about you, and I'm sure the nation appreciates about you too, mm. is that you continue to evolve and you continue to elevate yourself. I mean, you're sitting here decades later and we are not interviewing you because of Miss South Africa, but we're interviewing you because of the businesswoman and successful entrepreneur that you are today. So please mm -hmm. speak to us about that transition. What has it been like? What does it feel like to be a leader? And what does it feel like to motivate and inspire people that work with you? Whoa, that's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> but you can answer that. What are you that. thinking here? Okay, <laughs> where do I start? Okay, so for me, I would always say that, um, be careful what you wish for, because I always used to say, and use the quote repeatedly, you know, Gandhi said, be the change you want, yeah. to, want to see, you know, embody it, uh, show others how to do it. And I think, you know, first of all, I have a very teachable heart. Mm. I love learning new things and I love um, the adventure of change. Yeah. I really, really love change. And it's it, it sounds terrible, but if somebody, for instance, says to me, Ames, um, the seasons describe yourself i love autumn and i love spring mm. i love the change so i think going into business um was almost automatically a path for me to choose because it was different i'm a teacher um studied at uct went from home into uct and schooling and then back schooling i mean yeah. and then to break away from that because we don't come from an entrepreneurial family was hugely exciting 
yeah. and then applying and taking what I had as an educator and combining it with um, you know the, the the whole commercial world and starting dialect teacher with with Madiba in 2000 mm. and and then marriage is a huge challenge and children <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> but it is yeah life life is life is exciting and I choose my advice probably to anybody is be the change you want to see yeah and uh, just love what you do and do what you love and the rewards are incredible absolutely incredible mm. lovely so you know you obviously speak to having a beautiful heart number one and i i cannot only see that and read that but i can feel that in terms of your energy you really are it's sensational and exceptional and you have this wonderful growth mindset which I think is so wonderful I think that if we have a growth mi a mindset and continue to be curious mm. then the world becomes our oysters um, I know that I have to ask you this question mm -hmm. because I want to know too yes. what is your secret to your beautiful longevity like I can see when it's when, when it comes to someone like you there is health span there and there's lifespan there what what does Amy do to get this Amy, look. Thank you, my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good genes, number one. Um, and I do. I have had incredible advice from my mom from a very young age with four girls. And she always says it's about the packaging mm. so that people can see what's inside. You know, so whatever is inside, package it the same way. Oh. And I loved that, you know, so mm. we were encouraged to look after our skins and eat healthily and be, be, uh, let, the, let the world see your joy yeah. in the way you dress and the way you respond. I mean, I get a little bit wild, <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I love that fun oh, side too. Yes, no, I do. I, I was probably my mom's busiest child. Um, so I know all about ADHD and all of those things. Okay. Climbing couches and close your mouth when you eat, Amy, and sit nicely <laughs> and <laughs> laugh so loudly. Close your mouth. <laughs> I knew she was going to be fun. Amy, you are an absolute joy, and I feel like we need an entire show that is dedicated to finding out more about your life uh, because we've literally only touched the surface. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being here. Really so whether you admire her for her philanthropy and ambassadorship or her entrepreneurial and business mm -hmm. skills, Amy Klein Hans is a true icon and part of the South African fabric. So on social media, we would like to know from you, what is your dream job? Comment on our social media pages and don't forget to use the hashtag Afternoon Express.